Hello everybody and welcome back to my very scuffed setup. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I was going to do Bellara's quest really quick, but while we are here in Treviso, we have a slow poison. I wonder if I have to defeat these in the, like, defeat these champions. I think I have to defeat them in the crossroads. But it says Treviso, so I'm like, is there a champion in Treviso? Is it the dude, the big guy, the butcher guy? That might be actually what it is. Why it's like labeled as it is instead of being yeah instead of labeled in the Arlathan Force. Interesting. Okay, that might actually be the case. All right, but we are going to help um, this guy with his contract. A guy named Dareth, whose name is not Zevran, and who I'm. Zevran, though. Zevran's doing his, to be fair, Zevran is doing his own thing. He's not a crow anymore, so it kind of makes sense that he's not, um, out and about, you know? He's, uh, he's free. I'll, and I do, can, I can headcanon it as a, my, Best place in Treviso. my, uh, People feel at home here. my warden and Zevran are just out gallivanting about having a grand old time. Doing some murder a little, doing some scholarly study, some magical study on the side. I have a really great, well, the concept is really great. I have a vision of them in my head that I drew out once, but I'm not a very good artist, so it was just, you know, uh, uh, my best shot, sort of, but, um... Not even an army stops the Treviso market. Almost feels like home. Oh, you guys are getting along, but yeah. I think my Durthara and my Warden, or my Zevran. My Warden and Zevran. Oh, are you performing? Here, yes. You may have money. This wasn't here earlier. Uh, but their relationship is really fun. I really like it. In my head. Like, right? Like, the way it is in my head. Oh, you're a Lord of Fortune, a mage too. I just said I just made a canary that looks like that. Well, you know, much bigger, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I made her. I maxed out her height. I was like, absolutely not. Don't. They, they had it. They had it on the preset on the lowest, like the shortest for canary. And I was like, absolutely not. And if I'm playing a massive, muscly woman, I'm gonna make her as tall as possible. Not short. I wanted to play somebody short. I play a dwarf. Oh, this is cool, though. I hope I'm actually giving money. Like, I hope it, like, actually takes it out of my funds, you know? Like, I'm not just doing it to, like, pretend I'm doing it. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> These rats? <coughs> the rats are dancing. What? Uh, who's this? <clears throat> Man, I sure wish I could read about it. Is this is this a crow? Oh, an embodiment of a crow. Okay, but it's got the canary stuff in front of it. They're like, no, and the crows are like, boy. Mm. I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye. Why are the rats just dancing around? I don't like that. At all. I didn't play that much Dishonored, but I played enough. Oh my gosh, more kitties! <laughs> because there's so many, we just gotta go fast. <gasps> I can hear it purring, and I did feel a vibration on my controller. Excellent. This is how, this is how it should be. Yeah. Oh, we'll probably get around in here. Neve is a perfect one to bring on this one, where we're, like, trying to scout around. Okay, I'm gonna assume that we get to walk around in here. So I'm gonna help you guys when I get to you. A doggy! Dog. Let me pet the dog. Doggy, you look hungry. I would give you anything you wanted. I would give you anything you wanted. Over here. Oh yeah, there was a chest. Hang on, I'll be I'll be right back. 
Are you Canari? They're at range. Why why are they angry? I was just breaking a pop. This gets a little hectic. How is your voice that deep? You know what I'm saying? They have guns now. Uh, drop into the water. Okay, good. I just wanted to get there's a chest over here, you know. I just wanted the goodies. Dew of the Dales. Like it says on the label, spirits for the spirited, an elven elevation of the brewing arts. Sold only in Antiva, a guarantee that changes only slightly in other markets. Oh, my eyes are dry. Still. A reproduction of the decree exempting Antivan trade from royal taxation. Municipal fees remain but are rarely mentioned when merchants try to get similar writs passed in their home nations. Exempting Antiva trade from royal taxation. So the royalty doesn't get to tax uh, the trade in Antiva? Oh! Sure. I got you something else. Isn't that exciting? Okay, now we will go over and do our actual thing. Banjo Bantan stopped me on my way to. A recent drowned district, district staple. Rum, this matched with salt water, presumably seasonal parvol and fruit, floating from a dreadnought hold, or floated from a dreadnought hold, while Amtam are distracted by their own windy butcher. Demanded to know who I was and where I was going. What gives him the right? There's the place. Keep your eyes open. We may not be the only ones interested. Uh oh. He was my cousin. Uh oh. He died. <laughs> We've got on. They killed Darren. They killed my cousin. I mean, that is sort of a that is sort of a hazard. Oh, nice. We have blue pots that are apparently. Are you Jacobus? Help us, Darren. My cousin. They. Oh wow, you are very young. Like, potentially, like a teenager. Please, you have to finish Derrick's contract. It's about the butcher. My cousin was going to spy on the butcher. He told me we'd pick up the contract from a dead drop. But then, someone has to finish this for Derrick. Please. We will take care of it. Go back to the diamond. I will, just. Just give me a minute. He got a weird mouth. Wee. I'm telling you, man. Just somebody is. It's that guy. I swear. Especially because he's not the favorite. But maybe it's not, because it's like so obvious that it's him. It's like, maybe it isn't him. When the Antam invaded the south, the people there were completely unprepared. Antiva and Northern Ravane were quickly overrun, with the invaders pushing down through the Green Dales to the Minatar River, leaving only the southernmost of the free marches spared. From there, the Antam pushed west, overpowering Tevinter magic with Gatlock cannons and brute strength until the defenders finally held up Virantium. Navarre was spared, likely due to the Antam fears of necromancy and unwillingness to attack until Aunt Tevinter was conquered, but almost half of Northern Thetis fell to Antam rule in just a few years. To those asking why the Antam waited centuries to attack in force, 
that they were this powerful. I would remind them that the Kuhn teaches that outsiders are to be converted and educated. Under Kanari control, the Amtime have been fighting only to venter, and even then, they followed rules governing how and when to attack. Gatlock cannons were not to be used on civilian targets, for example. When the Antime broke from the Kuhn, they threw off the restraints that held them back. It is also important to note that the Antime fought alone. With little in way of supply lines or experts in food production, the craftspeople and strategic experts who would normally support them had not broken with the Kuhn. When the Antime did, the invaders needed to it to attack to keep eating. When they encountered resistance that would have forced the siege, the Antime invasion stalled. The kids shocks wished who wished only to conquer now had to learn to rule the lands they would claim. Excerpt from Marlequin, The Loss of Reason, from Seer Rowand of Daresmond. A seer would be somebody in Ravain. Yeah, in Ravain, where they still have their, like, shaman women. The De La Morte Vineyards. Viago, do you have a map of the Antimes movements during Tiva or records of their activity? From an offhand remark, I learned a vineyard south of Trevisio was burned to the ground. It was one owned by the De La Mortes. I visited a few times. I remember the sign at the front gate with its brightly painted vines. Caterina was ensuring the families impacted were taken care of. I should ensure the same. Lucanus. Note attached to Viago's reply. V has attached everything you need to know. I wonder if Viago doesn't read or write. Is he illiterate? Because Tia, or somebody, seems to be writing for him all the time. V has attached everything you need to know and more. I've added a list of every contract closed with an Antam as the target. We have suffered, but the Antam have never been unchallenged. I have a bottle from the vineyard you mentioned. We'll drink it when Trevisio is ours again, and it will be all the sweeter. Seeking Zara. Lusana, Lucanus. Here's everything I can find on Zara. See, I knew she'd help with something like this, at least when she's in Minrathis. As you know too well, she's frequently absent from the city, from the country itself half the time. Those trips are for longer than people think. Rumor has it she gets an imposter to sit in the magisterium meetings for her. She wants the glamour of power without the boredom. She used to sponsor magical research in Minrathis, but that stopped abruptly, likely when she took her hobbies elsewhere. Nev. Uh, Taya, Z Zara will have associates in Treviso. If these notes can help track them down, use them. Perhaps a frequent guest at her gatherings or money we can follow since it left to Vinter Imperium. Zara is vain, egotistical, and cruel. Expect nothing less from those who saw her favor. Oh, and this. A letter from House de Riva. Lucanus, you're right. We knew they were coming, but the Antime invasion still caught us unprepared. Buying a talon was a move that paid off for them. Emil Cortez was too skilled, and we were too busy picking up pieces when the strike came. Worse, they hit without warning and had us in their grip fast, too fast. They bought someone else. Oh, so they did know about one that was taken. There's maybe more. Maybe a lot of someone. They haven't found, yet found all the threats that need cutting. Now we have Canarian control of all Antifa. Treviso is like their favorite toy. They flaunt the occupation here, showing off how they took charge of our poor lawless people for their own good. I know you just got out and too much has happened already, but we still have work to do. Oh, come on. Let me up. I should be able to do this. But it's not going to let me. I should be able to. There are some that you can do that with, but not all of them. Oh, this is the, uh, the cousin. Dareth, your lead panned out with more shadow work for you. The contract is in the usual place across from Tia and Viago. Just follow the marks. It's from that the guy. said Dareth should pick up the contract at the usual place across from Tia and Viago. Just follow the marks. There will be a trail of marks left by previous crows. It will lead us right to it. I've spotted them around the city. I think there's one nearby on the walls. Let's go look. Okay. Well, oh, it's blinking at me that there's treasure nearby. I mean, I think it's up there, or I can't reach it yet. A oh, that one. Mark. Perfectly thrown. It is. That's got to be Dareth's trail. Keep an eye out. That is so obvious. Bright purple. Again, the crows aren't really subtle, though, so, you know? Treasure! A rare rapier! Sure. Oh wait, attack my target does what? It does something. We're collecting, like, Inquisition when you could collect the, um... The vintages as like a it was like a collectible thing. This feels like that a little bit. A celebration of I mean it is their drinks, so it's just funny that they're continuing it. A celebration of life, thick and sweet, served by the sip. Tradition says the more we partake, the greater the fortune. For no one is free until everyone is free. So attack my target. Does what now? 
Oh, with the consonant party, your critical ability hits apply bleeding. Oh, the... Oh, oh, that's his dagger, like, oh, and then he has the rape here. Attack my dar target deals plus 100% damage versus enemies at high health. I knew that there was something. I need to utilize it more. Okay, attack my target applies chilled versus venatory, en versus venatory enemies. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I have chicken and fish if you don't want to get your teeth dirty. Mm -hmm. You like meat? You like meat? Um, I mean, this is a fruit, and and I can buy that. I'll buy that from you. A crow marker. Another mark this way. It's a good thing my um my oh, I think I just heard like an Inquisition song, part of one. My marker is the market never stops. Telling me even during occupation where to go. I meant to pick up more spices. Another time. I actually really love that, like, I don't know, that, like, people are gonna have, like, hobbies and stuff, too, like, outside of work, you know what I mean? Like, outside of, like, just standing around waiting for me to, you know, like, to interact with them, like, and such a fancy man, like, I don't know, I like it, it it's a, it's a fun trope, I guess, when fancy guys don't just, like, expect, Good day to you. uh, or, like, fancy people don't just expect their food to be made for them, like, they, they'll make it a themselves. Is it not, my friends? <laughs> Enjoy it. Everyone in Treviso has a right to the streets. King, crow, or commoner. I mean, uh, ostensibly, yes. Not right now. Oh, are we allowed over this bridge into this main square? This feels like I think this is probably the chantry, and they don't, they don't, they don't like the chantry. So they're probably like taking it over. You know what I mean? We can do it. I wasn't sure if it would let me scoot along the ledge or not. This is wild. Dragging it. We've never been able to do this. And Tevin Parade Helm. Thanks. Let me out. I wonder if they'll put their favorite puzzle in this game. What was it called? The uh, the one where you had to like... <sighs> you know what, if you play Dragon Age, you know what I mean. They're like, Or even Mass Effect, they have it in... At least Mass Effect 2? What? Nothing. You're just so serious. So are you. And so are you. Cynical, sure. Married to the job, I'll give you that one too, but serious. Have I crossed that line? Well, what now? Do I brood to the middle distance? <laughs> Speak in solemn tones. All right, all right. I take it back. You take it back. <laughs> take it back. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. I got distracted. Oopsie, oops, oopsie, 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 oopsie. The Phantom hate mages. Yeah, I know. Oh, I mean, definitely no mages. See, that's the thing, right? Is like, I can't, you can't let that go, right? Like, maybe the Canary way of life isn't so bad, but if you're gonna, like, they, like, tie, they, like, sew mages' mouths shut, you know? Anyway, I know I was saying something before this, but it is getting later, so I'm like... I'm slowly losing my grasp on reality. No. Oh, convenient. Um, where am I supposed to go? You told me to go in here, and it just keeps then point upwards if you want me to go up. I guess there's a ladder here, huh? Okay. I was like, what? Here's yeah, there crowbar. we go. Now you're pointing up. All these broken windows. This is where the marks lead. Dareth's contract must be here somewhere. Like the paper. Like the paper is in here? Why would the paper be in here? Why wasn't he just... 
given it, you know? The Butcher of Trevisa has employed a poisoner who manufactures Kamek. The recipient of this contract, Dareth, is charged with finding this Kamek master in the garrison and ending him. The recipient is also to deal with the traitor who allowed the on time into the shitty city should this person become known. Should the recipient fall, their next of kin may claim this contract. The Butcher is making poison. Kamek. I've heard of it. Yeah. It does things to your mind. Nothing pleasant. Uh, if I were the butcher, it'd be a good way to keep people in line. We How? cannot let the butcher unleash this on Treviso. Yeah, he uh, won't. Yeah. Tom brought in a comic master to mix the poison. He's at the garrison. We stop him there before this goes any further. You'd have to bring him in because it's a, it's a canary specialty, it's just like the powder, the explosion powder. How dare they also put the Celine book on the walls? Like, why are pic why are pictures of Celine? who is the Empress of Orlais in this area. You know what I mean? Like, why? You don't even, we don't even know. She could be dead. You know what I mean? Like, there's options, there's outcomes where Selene is dead. And they're like, but we don't want to have to worry about who's ruling the southern kingdoms and blah, blah, blah. Then why is the Empress's portrait all over the place? Continuity is something we all enjoy. Even just little tiny tidbits, just little tiny call-outs. I'm gonna be bitter. For a long time, apparently. What do you want me to do with this? Oh, okay. Almost there. The number of wisps that find you in the lighthouse is unnerving. Hmm. Spike agrees. Oh! The three of us on the same page. Well, isn't that something? If by something, you mean also unnerving. It is so much. So much unnerving. There's more dialogue than I thought there'd be. This is fun. I, I am enjoying it. I was hoping to get the dialogue back, you know? Don't look down. Am I going the right way? I'm following my little mark. Ooh, I am going to jump off. And not on purpose. Keep a grip. The palace looks so neat. I think we've seen glimpses of it, but the Oh jeez! <laughs> I was distracted. Oh my goodness. I was okay, I was like, if I don't make it, I'm gonna be sad. Honestly, picking up stuff all the time is a little annoying, but I feel obligated to pick it up. Is the sun coming up? The sun, it was full dark, right? And now it is glowing a bit. Yeah, this definitely has like, kind of like Southern Spain, right? That had like Muslim influence for a couple centuries with like the, the domes and stuff. Kind of a domish, some domish architecture. Oh, hi. Whoop. Um. I am not sure what you are. Oh, you're Venatori. But my mark is over here. So I'll be over here. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get to you later. Company. Yes, over here. Oh, I was like, what is he Take yelling at? Quick. I mean, yeah, but why is the there's Venatori over there? No, we have to fall. We're on contract. We're on contract. We are not next to kin, but I think um, Ukan is, is the next best thing. So. Oh. Hey. Here's the God's whispers. Yo, you can't just like. Drop that on me, you know? Now's your chance. I mean, you could do it too. You respect the fight and the prize. So this guy just like likes to hear himself talk. Bye bye.
beat the odds there. Do we even get to see him? Oh, he is up there. Or be caged like... Be your role, be on time. Yeah, they're all assigned the roles. Interesting. We're in. Let's find the comic master. The comic master is talking to the gods and is also caged right now. This place is for oh, uh, you cannot forbid the crows. Lucanus' so bond bad. increase in the middle of a, in the middle of all this. I thought it would just be like something that showed up at the end of a mission or something, but apparently if you f the more you fight with people, the more the bond increases, I guess. That's cool. And I would think the butcher's hearing the voice of the gods cuz apparently the butcher is like wanting power I and stuff. Can smell you an outsider. Time to test my gift. I am will made flesh! So much flesh! What happened to you? You have been Gillanond. I have, I have, there's no other, there's no other way to say it. You have been Gillanond. Holy cow. I got another rune. Uh, what does it do? We can add it and we'll probably get an achievement. For filling up the dagger. Oh my gosh, they really they have they had some they have some for like completing each chapter, but not for uh of like it's of like the story, but not for filling up the dagger with runes. I guess I could also where's my let me try I'm gonna try that. I do like my area of effect, and I like Spartan kicking. It's fun. I guess we just gotta. You guys ready? We're just gonna eat ourselves into there. Oh my goodness! Not enough rage. Sick. Take a second. Oh, good. He's vulnerable to the necrotic. Which is good again, because I need to do this. Oh my gosh, again. It's dead. Uh, the Kamek, we should try to blow up the Kamek. Can I get him? Say the word. 
over here. Will he blow it up himself? No, apparently not. though, which is nice. I don't know. Maybe we just don't get to um, blow those up, even though it looks like it would be a great... Oh, a what? Excuse me. How is he even? Does he even have a face? Ah. Do any of you have healing? No. Oh good. Ooh. What? Hey, please no. Just please about no. Got it. Yeah, please, 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 please. No! no! It's done. The comic master's dead. Uh, Good readings. How come things first. Let's destroy the rest of the poison. Then we figure out what was going on here. How come Lucanus his bond is increasing, but Neves isn't? Oh, okay. I thought these were like bombs I could use on people. Azure Crow Mask. Cool. What do you want me to do? You just want me to... That's just the dumbest thing again. Like... Like this stuff... This stuff would send the Plus rumor in. The poison, thankfully. Let's look for anything else that explains what's happening. This would send the rumor in into a massive... Like we would just die. We would die. My eyes are so dry. The butcher rages. Someone has stolen the Kamek I made for him. I do not know who took it, nor is it my concern. I told him to have the human who betrayed this city investigate the matter. The butcher was not pleased. Locked me in here. Said I was changed. Let him find another Kamek master. I have fulfilled my role. The gods grant me another as a reaver of flesh. Did the city? This note says that wasn't all the Kamek. The butcher's angry because some went missing. Who got their hands on it? No idea. But the note does mention the butchers inside Traitor. The occupation had help. Tear and Viago need to know they were right. <sighs> this is also uh, or an Orlesian painting that frequently shows up in Inquisition, so. This one, I'm not 100% sure. But I was hoping for new assets, and apparently 10 years was not enough time to make new art assets. My eyes are so dry, it's actually kind of crazy. Like, you think I'd hear more, if this is a casino, you think I'd hear more going on down below. Are you out of your minds? A governor Someone had to act. They most certainly did not. Uh-oh. I told you crows to stay out of this. Out of what? Defending our home? If we had a stronger civil government instead of a bunch of circus criminals, oh, the wow. Antom wouldn't have a foothold in the first place. You're responsible for the city? This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. My concern is how you've endangered the city. We're defending Antiva. These protections are in place for the good of everyone. You act without oversight. We crows are the oversight. And yet, here we are, awash in on top. And now, you've angered the butcher. It's bigger than whatever it is you're whining about. The gods are corrupting some of the on -tom. And the butcher? You two were right. He had help taking the city. Human traitors. I didn't want to believe it. Killing the butcher does nothing if someone could just sell us out again. I'd start right here. You Talons are known for infighting and betrayal. I mean, I agree. You're accusing them? One of their crows died for this contract. That's enough. Rook, 
Thank you for finishing that contract. The only reward we have is to ask you for more. I'm here for whatever hurts the gods. Eventually is right about one thing. The Butcher will not like that we're fighting back. We need to be ready. Rook, I will have every crow tracking this traitor and the gods, and we will send word when we find something. The stakes are too high. This should be left to proper officials. What? Go back to filing trade receipts. Politicians? Eventually. The crows rule Antiva. And Treviso will be free. With or without you, Governor. I mean, it's bold of them to make, you know, to come in here and, like, try to make waves. But, like, if the crows actually rule Antiva, then you're just arguing with, essentially, like, your king and queen here, you know? And, um... Okay, Nev's bond increased to, um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird to come in here and be like, if we only had a proper government, and it's like, then you'd be embroiled in stuff. Like, what you probably needed was a proper army, which does then generally need like a, what is it, a centralized form of government of some sort, um, but, because you need to disseminate pay and food and stuff, um, and having a standing army is something that's like fairly recent in history. Like I say fairly recent, but like the Greek city-states for a long time didn't have standing armies. It was just like, you know, whoever was around when farming wasn't happening. It was only the Spartans had a standing army because they had a massive slave population to do everything else that needed to be done, you know? So interesting. Yeah, the the idea of a standing army is something that's not it's not always been a thing, right? So anyway, the crows are obviously not a standing army, and they don't really need one. They could have just got they could have very easily gotten overrun. Um, yeah, that guy coming in and be like, "How dare you do stuff?" And it's like you're you're telling your king and queen essentially like. How dare you fight back against the occupiers? Like, I don't know, like, what, what is your, you're like, oh, we gotta do this with the proper channel. What proper channel? You're gonna politic them out? You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna politic the Anta, you're not gonna politic the Kunari out. Like, even if these are technically Talvashoth and they've left the Kuhn, like, um, they're still trying to cling to some Kunari tenants, you know? The Kamek was stolen from the Butcher. I mean, we don't have to worry about it being replicated because it's apparently impossible to replicate unless you know the actual recipe, but if somebody has Kamek, they can use it and that's bad. Words, words, words. Is this new? The training of Jacobus the Prodigy. Please describe the Anton. Blade to the base of the horn at the ear or up from behind, behind the ribs on the left. Slash back of ankle to hobble to get targets in range. My family name is the last name, the last thing they hear. There is something about you doing weak points and that kid did yell out like, oh, do the left, you know? And I was like, what? I just, all I could, I can't target anything specifically as far as I know. I just hit them, you know? Please describe the Venatory. I don't care about the Venatory. Poison, I guess. Please describe that the rest of the page is obscured by a series of angry scribbles and several horned heads with X's for eyes. Jacobus, knowing a potential target requires more than merely how you would kill them with blood in your own heart. That is not what contracts are. We will begin again when you have had time to grieve. I worry that you, heirs instructions, is to obscure by more scribbles. Regarding the above, no doubt you and Viago have noticed that Jacobus has been greatly effect gravely affected by losing his cousin. I would ask that you and your roles as talents, you consider how best to guide him and others who have felt similar losses. He shows immense promise, but left to fester in vengeance. He and others would soak the streets in even more needless bloodshed. That is not the goal of my teachings yet. And that's not the crows thing. They don't they don't they don't do anything with vengeance in their hearts, you know? Like they're not supposed to anyway. It's all supposed to be very contractual, you know. Banner of House Gagar Markentile. Fletcher's house banner has a field of uniform color, but it shimmers with threads from a hundred different weavers. The sharpest edge is keened by routes well traveled and bonds maintained. Trade is our talent and coin is our blade. We are House Gagar and we are Antivan Crows. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like one of the merchant princes. Because uh, Antiva, well, I mean, like, that's a thing, right? Like, Antiva has a king, technically, or queen, or whoever. There's actually a queen, Asha. There was a queen, Asha, once. And I remember I found out 
Um, but it was, I thought it was funny because the word Asha is an elven, woman, uh, elven word for woman. Asha Belinar is another is an elven name, a Dalish name, a modern Dalish name for Flemeth slash Mithal, the entity. Um, and I, it's like woman of something, and I can't remember, but I always thought Asha was a really pretty name. And I named my human that I made that looked like me um, in Inquisition, Asha, because I liked that as a word, as a name. On the invasion, Treviso has always been a free port. Even the merchant princes, and that's that's where I was going with that. They're supposed to be like a king or queen or whatever, but the merchant princes are the ones who run like the economy, right? And then you have the crows who are like the um. Maybe, maybe that's that guy. Maybe that guy is associated with the merchant princes. The king or queen just kind of is there as like a puppet figure. Um, the merchant princes are the ones that you do any sort of economical contract with, and then the crows are you know everything else. <laughs> um. So it's an interest. They have a very uh, unconventional form of government in Antifa. Even the merchant princes respect this. Their fortunes exist because we trade and work where we will. So of course, the first act of the Antime invasion was to blockade our trading ships with their dreadnoughts. Then they somehow took out our guards' outposts in a single evening. After that, the Antime built fortified camps right outside Treviso, positioned as though they'd already figured out where to choke off resistance, or as though someone drew them a map. The butcher seems capable. He has, irritatingly, a gift for anticipating acts of sabotage. But I want to know what traitor gave that monster our city before we see him dead. Oh, so Viago can write. So Viago just doesn't like to write sometimes and acts like a royalty person and has somebody do it for him. Interesting. New, new. What's in here? So, do I get like more codex entries every time, or is this one I've already done? What? I didn't think I got more codex entries throughout, like revisiting the same place. That's actually a little annoying because it makes me feel like I've cleared an area and then apparently I haven't. That's a cool one. That's a cool picture of a canary. Insight, the covenant we grant. Insight into how the gods manipulate enemies of the Antivan crows. Vellum with lettered, lettering seared into it without pressure, as though the words emerge from the skin. It is directed at the butcher. This boon is yours, bound by the blood of beasts, as our ancestors bound the blood of dragons to themselves. Okay, so maybe all the gods, and I associate Mythal with dragons, but apparently, maybe Mythal is not a dragon necessarily, but all of the gods. Barring the Dread Wolf, because he was he was different. Um, he was like a second. He was his own category. Okay, and that's why she was able to summon, why Gillen was able to summon that dragon back to her. Uh, we are bound, and, and our ancestors bound the blood of dragons to themselves. Wait, what? As they claim the strength of fire, we have been granted the strength of form of burning muscles and taunt veins. Through this, we become strong again. Through this, we become more. Carry this strength and drains. No, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is a Kunari writing. This boon is yours, right? Yes. Because a thorough script is, ha a script is hastily appended, presumably by the butcher. I hate that oafish fool. We have been granted the strength of form of burning muscles and taunt veins. I think. As our ancestors bound the blood of dragons to themselves. I think this is confirming my theory. Which is not like that hard. I'm sure other people have had it. Because Bull mentions a few times that like the Kunari feel a great respect for dragons. And like a very, like a strong ties to them. Like it's sort of like a, they feel like physical reactions around dragons, you know. Another script is linked below, scrawled by a strong hand. Why do you hesitate before greatness? You should have spread our boon among your soldiers. I offered you a blade to crush our enemies, but you clutched your pen like a scholar. Do you even fight alongside your brothers? Your way is old and weak. My Anton will bury yours. The Dragon King. The Oafish Fool. Who is the Dragon King? That's somebody else. What? Well, the first one has to be like a gods thing, because it's emerging, and then you have an actual ink script. That's so wild, honestly. He did say something about throwing the wings. He did say something about throwing the wings. It's like a paintball? 
This instruction will not take the place of practice. We do not hide. Yeah. Uh, we move and we need to show our path so we know where to go and the people know where we've been. We do not have time for stencils or sigils. Hence the mark in learning to throw the wings. Vellum is scored, wax, stitched onto a sphere and filled with colored liquid. The ball is weak at deliberate points and if thrown properly, three turns for body length, ten for a street. It splashes into silhouette and wings. That's crazy. <laughs> Why so careful to throw and splatter alone would mark a path? Is there anything we do that does not benefit from style? Instruction by air. Keep pressure up on the on Tom. I can keep us supplied, but we need fishers on the water. You'll be throwing tomatoes if I run out of squid ink. Addendum by Fletcher. Interesting. I I thought there were some that like little codex entries that had popped up that I was like, oh I've already picked that one up, so I haven't I've ignored it, you know? I've like not looked at it again. Uh, so I hope it's not. I hope I didn't mess it up. Are you okay, Jacobus? No. After we lost our families, Derek and I promised we'd look out for... For... I hate the Antom so much! I'm sure Taya will welcome you to stay here in the Diamond. I don't care. I don't sleep anymore anyway. But thanks for caring. That kid's gonna get himself killed. Uh, it's the the it's supposed to be the specialty of the crows to deal with orphans, you know. They they need to take him in hand, like they need to give him a goal, you know. They need to give him something to do. Um, oh well, I guess I should call this one here. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I am now gonna cut over and say thank you to my patrons. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So, queue up two codex entries. The Magisterium. There is a mistaken impression outside the Tevinter Imperium that a Magister is simply a mage, and the mere act of being a mage is all that is required to be among the ruling class. A misperception, aided no doubt by some Tevinter mages claiming the title outside their homeland to take advantage of its reputation. In truth, being a Magister requires one hold a seat in the Magisterium, the upper house of the Imperial Senate. This is the body that makes laws, and which chooses the new Archon if there is no approved heir. The Senate's lower house, the Publicanium, consists of elected officials, but it has no true power, and is considered a bureaucratic body. I forgot even that it existed. Magisters, meanwhile, come from the ranks of the Circle of Magi in the Imperial Chantry, but most hold their seats by virtue of an Archon having granted it to their family long ago. It is not technically required for a Magister to be a mage. Indeed, after the transfiguration saw that saw the old gods abandoned and Andrasine embraced, most were not. Since the Tower's Age, however, non-mages in the Magisterium have slowly been weeded out. A true Magister is thus a figure of real power in Tevinter. All other mages serve at their pleasure, and any mage not of proper lineage has no influence outside of that which personal wealth and talent provide. From Sister Patrine, Tantree Scholar. We do see her from her fairly frequently, too. Mm. Okay. The Maker. There, I thought this was going to be the song for a second, and I was like, I'm going to cry. Um, there was no word for heaven or for earth or for sea or sky. All that existed was silence. Then the voice of the Maker rang out the first word. Oh, this is going to be the one that tells you about the spirits, I think. Uh, and his word became all that might be, dream and idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities, and from it he made his firstborn, and he said to them, in my image I forge you, to you I give dominion over all that exists, be it by your will may all things be done. Then in the center of heaven he called forth a city with towers of gold, streets with music for cobblestones, and banners which flew without wind. There he dwelt, waiting to see the wonders his children would create. The children of the maker gathered before his golden throne, and sang hymns of praise unending, but their songs were the songs of the cobblestones, they shone with the golden light reflected from the maker's throne they held forth the banners that flew on their own and the voice of the maker shook the fade saying in my image i have wrought my firstborn you have been given dominion over all that exists by your will all things are done yet you do nothing the realm i have given you is formless ever changing and he knew he had wrought amiss so the maker turned from his firstborn and took from the fade a measure of his living flesh and placed it apart from the spirits and spoke to it saying here i decree opposition in all things for earth sky for winter summer for darkness light by my will alone is balanced sundered and the world given new life so, okay, anyway, the fade apparently has living flesh, which is wild, and that's what he made people out of. That's the, that's, wow, well, okay. 
And no longer was it formless, ever changing, but held fast, immutable, with words for heaven and for earth, sea and sky. At last did the maker from the living world make men immutable, from as a substance of the earth, with souls made of dream and idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities. Then the maker said, To you, my second born, I grant this gift. In your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame, all consuming and never satisfied. From the fate I crafted you into the fate you shall return, each night in dreams that you may always remember me. And then the maker sealed the gates of the golden city, and there he dwelled, waiting to see the wonders his children would create. Again, so the maker's always been a dick, right? Like he's always like he made his firstborn in his image and was like, "Oh, have at it." And he made them in such a way that they were not what he wanted, even though he was the one that made them. Like apparently he was like, mm, "Yeah, I messed up." So he turns away from them. He denies them, you know? And it's like very typical for like uh divinity type stories, you know, all uh, gods, goddesses, singular divinity, you know, whatever. It's it's typical um for them to be sort of aloof and unfeeling, like written that way, you know? In some, in some stories, you know? Um, but yeah, see, this is the Golden City is... But then also, potentially, at this point, we've known that Solas potentially... Like, maybe the Golden City existed and Solas just sealed the Evanuris there and that's what created the veil. But yeah, it's not their fault. It's not the spirit's fault that, like, they were made to be reflections of the Maker and so, therefore, they reflected their... They reflected that that's what they did. You know what I mean? He's like, I may, like, what did he expect to happen, you know? It's so like, this version of the Maker being potentially, uh, what is it, uh, anecdotal. Um, but there is a thread of truth in here somewhere. Where it is, we don't know yet. Not quite. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.